Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Just Open It, the YouTube series in which I open recently acquired toys. My name is Russ, thank you very much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you're a toy collector, a fan of pop culture in general, please subscribe to my channel, Karaoke Fanboy TV. Every week I do open a recently acquired toy or collectible, and today I am opening for Masters of the Universe Origins, Mossman. Now this is a much storied figure because he was originally released, who knows, two years ago? <laughs> I have no idea. Middle of last year, maybe? I'm just going to check. Yeah, it says 2022 at the bottom of the package. So, This is a two-year-old figure that has been on the pegs at Walmart pretty much ever since, starting at a $40 price tag, and now I think you could pick him up at various Walmarts around the country I've seen in different Instagram posts from fellow toy collectors for at least 15 bucks, maybe even as low as 8 bucks, you could find this flocked figure. And I knew $40 was a lot. I, I didn't get the figure for a while. Then I got a Walmart gift card for Christmas and thought, you know what, now I'm going to get it. Of course, I wish I had waited. I had no idea that we'd see a markdown on this figure that dramatically. And I wondered why 40 bucks because flocked Panthor, if you're a Masters of the Universe fan, you know that's Skeletor's battle cat. That's his, his steed. That was a flocked larger, uh, almost vehicular character, right? Um, a lot of surface area to flock on that kind of figure with points of articulation to boot. And when those figures came out in 2020, he was 25 bucks, I think. So the fact that we see a $15 increase on a flocked figure that is, I presume, smaller with less surface area to cover, is that inflation? Um, in its finest when it comes to action figure collecting, I don't know, but um, I'm glad to have this figure. He is one of the uh, Masters of the Universe OGs, so I gotta have him in my collection, and uh, I'm excited to tear into him now. Some beautiful card art on the back, of course, with a Snake, uh, snake Man character there. You know, they're introducing these new Snake Man to Masters of the Universe Origins, and I feel like, you know what, can we at least get through the original characters, the original Masters of the Universe, um, before we introduce some new characters? Because I think what would happen is, if you establish all of the classics, like you get Rio Blast and even Rotan out there and characters like that, then you start to infuse some new concepts. Um, it will kind of breathe a second wind or a new life into this line. But I originally started collecting this, these figures because they they represented um, the toys I still have from my childhood, but with modern posing and articulation, um, sculpting, paint application, everything like that. It just seems like a true 2.0 to the original Masters of the Universe line. And I know classics um, that were originally distributed by Maddie Collector are out there. Those are cool, but I think those were constructed obviously exclusively for adult collectors online. There is a potential here that kids will like this and play with them. And, and there would be a new generation of Masters of the Universe fans. Having these at retail at this posture, um, to me, is extremely exciting. Still, four years later into this line, and uh, I do hope that the discounted rates on these figures don't mean that it's over. I hope that uh, this was just a distribution thing. There were a lot of Moss Men out there. We got to clear the pegs to get new product out there. The Turtles of Grey Skull is a good sign, but let's see more from Origins, please. There are some characters yet to come that I'm excited to get as an original fan, and I'll pay up to twenty bucks for these figures. I think they're worth it. When you get into the forty dollar price range, you call it deluxe. That's a lot, and uh, definitely crosses the threshold of what these figures really are worth. But I'm tearing into him now, this beautiful box art. I mean, even on the sides here, you see some classic Masters of the Universe stuff here. Um, I don't remember this dinosaur's name, but I don't think that was ever released. I think that was something that we saw in catalogs before Masters of the Universe was canceled, but it was meant to be this kind of behemoth dinosaur playset. And um, it's cool that we see that, those kind of Easter eggs on this new packaging. Just, cla just some scenery there, but still worth showing off because somebody created that art. Okay, here we go. Mossman. Is he worth the $15 you might pay for him now at Walmart? More importantly, was he worth the original $40 price tag? Let's find out as I tear into this thing. Interesting uh, 
interesting flap here and in fact it reveals that there's just a little art just small details that you wouldn't see because it was folded into the flap like that so the the canvas is complete when you open this thing up I mean there aren't any more Easter eggs there but now I kind of want to do the same thing on the other side just to see what what's going on here okay I mean just some more ambiance Eternian foliage <laughs> but still cool details nevertheless I mean they're really putting a lot of um, energy into the design of these boxes and I appreciate that as a fan very much here is the figure himself okay with his own mini comic which was folded into those slots so the corner is bent now I don't care to have these comics in mint condition I do read them and then file them I mean I don't know what you do with these but interesting packaging faux pas there poison from the stars I'll read that later now let's see what this guy's all about and he comes with some armor that the original Moss Man did not have and I'm trying to remember if maybe this is included because well first of all Moss Man was a Beast Man repaint right they used the same mold I think even the same head and all they did was just flock the character to, to create a new one so these are repaints of Beast Man's armor um, and shoulder pads but uh, I, I don't know if Moss Man was ever depicted with these in, in any of the media that came out about Masters of the Universe at that time. I'm extracting him. I'm manipulating him. And uh, it's cool. The flocking is cool. Feels cool. It does not impede the articulation at all. I don't know if that's a concern when it comes to flocking, but uh, there he is. Sans weaponry. And I dig it so far. Very much so, in fact. Uh, I do have my original Moss Man. Some of the flocking has worn away, what with my childhood play of the figure and just time itself. And I'll be honest, he gets dusty and he gets sticky. Like, the dust gets into the flocking and it's kind of hard to, to keep him clean. But uh, I'm digging this very much. Kind of a, a Bigfoot vibe here. Um, in fact, Mattel could release this same figure with a sepia or a brown tone, put Sasquatch on it, and I'd probably buy that too, because it's uh, just that cool a design. But he comes with some weapons. His classic mallet, a design distinct to Masters of the Universe. And in this case, there's a, a handle. I don't remember if his original had a handle or not. Handle as far as like a hand guard here. The handle, of course, is included every time. This is like a mace. I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is new to this version of Origins or um, if that, that was depicted in some other media. But then you come with the dreaded, in my opinion, alternate hand so you could replace his flat hand and he could hold both weapons at once. I just find this tedious at this point. Um, I'm old school like that. I don't like hand swap. And you want to talk about Sasquatch, here's kind of a angry Moss Man, probably um, when somebody litters in Eternia, this is the expression he would have. It is an unflocked alternate head, and that's important to note. The head, the alternate head, is unflocked, and I just want to point that out. The armor comes out easily, and that's it. You know what? No rubber bands on this guy came right out of the vacuum seal here effortlessly. I almost didn't even realize it because this is how it should be every time. But you've seen me on this channel if you watch multiple times, dozens of times, wrestle figures out of that packaging because of those little bands. And uh, big pet peeve of mine as a collector. And I'm glad that this figure didn't have that. That might be worth the four. I, I paid more for less plastic for some reason here. And uh, I don't know, that might be worth it. But if I wanted to have this figure in kind of his classic, just the mallet, here we go. Super cool. Battle posing. You know, we have 
um, I was going to say shin articulation, um, wrist, uh, uh, wrist, ankle here. There is wrist articulation, of course, because I'm going to remove that hand here in a minute. But classic Moss Man right here, and uh, I dig that all by itself. Now, if I wanted to add these extra parts and kind of create this uber Moss Man, I'm going to do that now. Removing the hand, which always makes me nervous because these pegs are so small. You know, if, if you're a fellow collector, I'd love to hear your feedback on this. Has anyone ever broken one of these alternate attachment pegs? Um, or is my paranoia about such a thing um, unreasonable? And it just doesn't happen, kind of a thing. Let me know. Fortunately, if something does happen with this figure, if he breaks, I can go buy another one for eight bucks at Walmart. So, um, there is that. Putting on this alternate armor here, this Beast Man repaint. Just to kind of create the doppelganger. What would be interesting in Masters of the Universe lore is if they explained why some characters were kind of the same, like Merman and Stinkor, Beast Man and Moss Man. As if there was some sort of like cloning conspiracy on Eternia or like a magical spell that created these, these doppelgangers of certain characters. Um, that might be some unexplored fan fiction somebody might want to tackle. You're welcome. We'll put the angry head here. I didn't hear a snap, so I don't know if that... I mean, it's on there pretty firmly. And I have an opinion about it right off the bat, but if I put the mace here, the mallet here, okay, this is like Moss Man on steroids, juiced up, ready to go, eco-warrior for Eternia. And I'll be honest, with this head, he looks like, and the armor, he looks like a completely different character here to me. That is not the Moss Man I know. Um, not to say it isn't cool, but it's just different, and... Uh, I don't know, if I were playing with these figures as a kid, I might depict this as a completely different character. Maybe You could get two um, at the price point they're at now on clearance and uh, have one on display this way and then one on display the classic way with the original head. This is interesting. Um, I do enjoy it. I do like it. I think it's a cool um, inclusion in the uh, Origins line. Of course, you have to have Moss Man. And um, if you're going to do it, go big. You know, 40 bucks was a lot when he first came out, but, you know, now at 15 bucks, super reasonable. So if you're on the fence about this guy, go get him and uh, look at the, the, the different uh, incarnations of him you could make with, in just one package here. That's very cool. So, you know, pick yourself two. Pick up, pick up two for yourself is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, and maybe have Moss Man fight this evil duplicate in your uh, in your action figure wars so thanks for watching this video I really appreciate it you know if you're a fellow toy uh, collector follow me on Instagram at amazing AZ comics I do post more about the comics and toys that I love I also post about the comics and zines that I make I'm a self-publishing cartoonist in Phoenix Arizona I've created my own superheroes that take place right here in Phoenix though anyone in the world can enjoy these stories um, so again, follow me there at Instagram, on Instagram at AmazingAZComics. I would very much appreciate it. And tune in next time when I grab another unopened toy from the stack here in my living room and I say, you know what? Just open it. <laughs> I'll catch you next time.